Something broke into my car and I noticed they left behind a mysterious red envelope. I opened it up and that exact same night, I began to experience paranormal activity that made me pee my shorts. Yeah, that's right. Is it possible this blue ring is haunted? You're about to find out. It's the new year. Hope you guys staying safe, staying healthy. We are off to a fantastic start to 2021. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. And I'm doing my first ever merch drop January 29th. Mark your calendars a few days before my birthday. Comment below if you know when my birthday is. I am super excited and cannot wait for you guys to wear it. I'm telling you, you do not want to miss this. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button because this year, 2021, if you haven't heard of me yet, I promise you, you will soon. Put on those spooky pants because another day another mystery let's go i can't believe this happened i noticed the car of my door was wide open the other day so i examined the footprints and it was still winter fresh i fast got inside and it was an absolute mess someone definitely broke in because my non-existent ipad was missing amongst all my math homework i noticed a shine in the corner of my eye underneath a pile of papers was a mysterious envelope i've never seen before holy chick-fil-a i flipped it over and read find out the truth what in tarnation was going on I fast got inside in the dust of confusion. I used my secret move to open it and inside I discovered a strange elephant ring along with a piece of paper that read Do not put this on. This freaked me out so I placed the ring in a sandwich bag, zipped it tight, and then went to sleep. But that night, something strange happened. In the middle of the night, at 2 a.m., I felt a chilling breeze surround me. I woke up immediately, checked underneath my pillow, and I don't believe it. It was Mr. Elephant. Holy flying squirrels. How on earth is this possible? I pee-pooed my underpants at precisely the same time and jumped out of bed like a piece of broccoli yeah. yes. and decided to scan the ring onto Alexa's database. I proceeded to do a reverse image search and after 10 days of vigorous nose picking, the results came back with one singular match. Apparently, it was a rare, one-of-a-kind artifact from the early 2000s, only available in one location. The almighty Chuck E. Cheese. Holy chicken macaroni. This can't be... I proceeded to goggle search paranormal occurrences in Chuck E. Cheese and found an article about five missing children dated back six months ago. It is said that one particular location only opens once a year on Friday the 13th with a ball pit spanning 30 meters deep. Oh golly gee. Apparently, kids have been reported to mysteriously go missing in the ball pits of doom and their parents have no idea what happened. Which begs the question, could this ring somehow be connected to the five missing children. I decided to take it one step further and began to sweep the ring for potential fingerprints. I fast guy to grab the essentials and then began to work my mojo jojo. I added sugar, spice, and a big bag of rice. A whole stack of dice. <laughs> After watching six whole episodes of Powerpuff Gills, in mere minutes, I was able to retrieve one single fingerprint. I quickly scanned the print onto my PC. I'm Batman. That's when I found out the owner of the fingerprint was no longer alive. Holy Kung Fu Panda. I decided to do some investigating, so I fast got to my car to look for some clues. After exactly six years of egg farts, I searched the entire cabin and found absolutely nothing. Just when I thought all hope was lost, I tripped over my chicken legs. And then this happened. Brain blast! I super fast guy to my trunk and examined the panels. That's when I heard a little boy's voice whimpering from within. Holy spooky pants McGee. I did not expect to find this. Guacamole, another envelope?
What on earth is this? A series of shapes and figures I did not understand. A language that is out of this world. I needed something that was beyond the powers of mere mortals. I knew there was only one thing left for me to do. It was time to suit up. found power of the fast guy, I was now able to read at an incredibly never before seen world record speed of 12 words per day. And after reading all the Harry Potter books out of order, after 62 and a half days, I was 20% sure I knew exactly how to maybe decipher it. It was time. It all makes perfect sense now. Within the wisdom I've gathered in my 25 years of existence, I had absolute certainty I had no clue what it meant. So I decided to goggle search the code and after 64 episodes of Gossip Gills, turns out it wasn't a secret message. It was a license plate. But who could it be? After running a thorough search, the results came back with a photograph. Wait a second. This can't be. That's my car. But what's weird though, that's not my license plate. I must be missing something. That's it. Here goes nothing. Turns out, I was in a severe car accident. On Friday, January 13th, 2019, I was on my way home from Chuck E. Cheese after winning the grand prize one-of-a-kind artifact. The crash was so catastrophic, for the past 12 months, I've been in critical condition, left in a permanent coma. Maybe this entire time, everything was all inside my head. All I know is, whether you're awake or dreaming, it's pretty scary to know how quickly time flies. Time is something you can never get back, and before you know it, a year has already gone by. The doctors say I would never wake up. The truth is... <gasps> Today is January 1st, 2020. A fresh year, a fresh start. Walking into 2020 with the utmost optimism. That's when I felt something strange. Something did not feel right. My... My legs. In fact, there was no feeling at all. 
Hope you guys have a fantastic new year and I'll see you guys in the next story. Bye bye. I can't believe I'm doing this. So the other day I heard some strange noises coming from within the attic. I've always heard stories of strangers living in people's homes without even realizing. As confused as I was, my plan was to tape my phone onto this stick to record what's up there. Here we go. I fast got to my mama's closet, grabbed a very big ladder, and slowly pushed open the cover. You're not gonna believe what happens next. Oh, hi. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.